Hey guys, this is Matt Prasant over at McCarthy Hyundai in Blue Springs, Missouri, getting you some information on the 2021 Hyundai Palisade Limited. This is a front-wheel drive model coming in Sierra Burgundy. Beautiful, beautiful looking vehicle. Got some nice 20-inch wheels on here. Brushed aluminum body side moldings and door handles with some chrome accents along the window trim. Full LED tail lights, rear parking sensors, backup camera, heated back glass with a rear wiper and sprayer. Palisade is also equipped with smart lift gate. So, making sure our vehicle is locked here real quick. We're going to show this off. I'm going to approach the vehicle. Ah, give it some more space here. We're going to show this off to you. Nice Alfa Romeo, sir. All right, we're going to try and approach the vehicle again been away from it for a little bit here there we go LEDs going off smart lift gate hands-free no kicks no buttons necessary so we'll go ahead and get that closed we'll check out the hatch here in just a little bit we got some nice accessories back there for you got a dual exit single exhaust again nice LED tail lights chrome accents and brushed aluminum accents all along the vehicle Got a nice third row. We've got a rail system with crossbars up top, as well as a uh, moonroof and a sunroof as well for your rear passengers. You've got turn indicators on your mirrors and 360 degrees of vision with your surround view system. Full LED up front. Got the nice mesh grill there too. Tons of features on the outside as well as the inside. Vehicle does come with remote start on the fob. See the vehicle come to life. Let's go ahead and take a peek inside real quick. Taking a peek at the mirrors here. Turn indicators on the outside as well here, as well as here. You've got your camera underneath here for your 360 degrees of view. And then on your driver mirror, you're gonna have your blind spot monitors right here as well. Keyless entry. Got the nice beige interior on this model this beautiful trim right here everything is so nice and textured in here you can really just get a good feel for everything in the vehicle power locks windows and mirrors with a child lock option you've got two memory seat settings here as well very well equipped driver's seat beautiful pattern on here with some black piping nice perforation and bolstering oh. vehicle is on Real quick, sorry about that, y'all. All right, so our driver's seat here is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten way adjustable with power up down lumbar support as well. So you get the nice leg extension right here. Watch that curl in or curl out. Take some nice pressure off your knees there. We've also got a Harman Kardon audio system on board. That's one, two, three, four, five. Let's go ahead and check out. We've got five speakers so far. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. 12-speaker audio system on board here as well. Very comprehensive for sure. Let's go ahead and hop in. Got some nice storage in the doors over here as well. So now that we are inside the vehicle, to the left, we're going to have dash illumination controls, blind spot monitoring options that you can turn on and off from right here, as well as your lane keep assistance and your traction control. Power lift gate and your electric parking brake too. Steering wheel is going to be leather wrapped and heated for you. It also tilts and telescopes with this lever here. You can move it up, down, in, as well as out. Get that right where you need it to be and then lock it in place. Mounted on the steering wheel, you're going to have voice recognition controls. You can cycle through your audio sources, adjust your volume and your presets and tracks, and turn in your phone calls too. 
then on the right hand side you're going to have a window button as well as this lever and it's a pressable button as well for your fully digital drive display this whole screen here is all digital you can see even with revving the rpms the numbers get larger and smaller very nice small accents um, using the lever you can see that you can scroll through some menus over here as well as select extra content go into your heads up display settings which is also on there too so you can go through there then uh, check out all this information that you can see from right here and then hitting the window button again will bring up navigation on this larger screen or you can hit it a third time to bring this information to the main display and you see your fuel range uh, switches over here from the bottom left corner too so you can really customize this display to how you want to see things it's pretty cool um, so also on the right hand side here you're going to have your adaptive cruise control uh, for the vehicle so you can turn it on you can see a digital readout pops up up above right there and you can set your speed and then change your following distance you have four following distances you can choose from with the vehicle um, and then also mounted on your steering wheel you're gonna have paddle shifters very nice for a uh, more sporty or controlled drive uh, the Palisade is powered by a 3.8 liter V6 paired up to an 8-speed automatic with a shift-by-wire system. Uh, this vehicle is just slightly faster than the Telluride because of the shift-by-wire shift system. Left-hand wand will control your blinkers, brights, and headlights. Ha headlights are automatic. You also have automatic high beams. That icon is going to pop up right there for you. And then the right-hand wand will control your front and rear wipers for you. You see there is an auto setting uh, for this because the vehicle does have your rain-sensing wipers. So those are going to be automatic for you, too. You just set it on auto. It's the first setting. And uh, just let the Palisade take care of you. Up above, for a moment, we've got a nice manual sunshade. Uh, taking a, a quick look at the Melange headliner. And you've got your sunroof controls here. You've got tilting and sliding and a nice wind diffuser that pops up right here to reduce your um, in-air or in-cabin uh, disturbance from the wind. And then up here, you've also got some nice interior lighting options, front and rear, full LED. And then uh, right here, you're going to have some controls for your sunshade for the static piece of glass back there. A lot of nice natural light going into the cab in there. Nice little panoramic sunroof. And then you've got your Blue Link controls up above here. New Hyundais come with three years of Blue Link, so you're going to have all the connected services that you would want and need with the My Hyundai application on your phone. And then uh, right here, you've got an auto dimming rear view mirror with your Home Link garage controls, as you can see right here. Down below, it's going to be your entertainment center for the vehicle. You can see it's a nice, long panes, little 12-inch piece here. Um, this is your home screen. You can customize this with whichever three applications that you want to use. Then you can simply swipe over to the right to access the rest of your applications, uh, such as your map, navigation, phone, blue link, radio, media, sounds of nature. This is pretty cool. Um, you know, just provide some nice ambience. Sometimes you, maybe you just want to relax. You're sitting in the car waiting for something. Um, we've got the snowy village, calm sea waves, rainy day. I think this is kind of nice, actually, just adding some ambience. You know, you spend a lot of time in your car sometimes, and uh, maybe you don't want to listen to any music or anything of that nature. Open air cafe, warm fireplace. It's pretty neat. <laughs> Uh, I like that a lot. We'll leave the warm fireplace on for now, right? Set the mood a little bit. Uh, we've got our Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, HD radio data. Passenger talk is pretty neat. Turn this feature on. Hey, can everybody hear me? Oh, yep, check, check, check one, two. Can everybody hear me in the vehicle? We are headed to McDonald's. Place your order now. Pretty cool feature. Voice memos, you can also record those in the vehicle. You've also got quiet mode uh, for the kids or even larger passengers. Uh, you've got anybody riding with you, sleeping in the back seats. Quiet mode is going to uh, take your speaker system right here, and you can pause and read this if you like. It's going to reduce the sound settings down to seven and play through just the front two speakers for you. 
And then you've got your rear climate settings that you can bring up on screen right here as well. Go ahead and put that on auto. Sync it up to the driver's seat here. Get the whole vehicle cooled off. And you've got various settings and a digital user's manual. Now, before we get too much further, uh, the vehicle does have a heads-up display. It's kind of hard to uh, film on camera. For some reason, the, the perspective is just different uh, when filming it through a vehicle here. But you can see a digital speedometer. Your cruise control is also there, and your lane keep assistance lines are ready to show you that the lines are registered. And there's a lot more information that pops up on that screen, and you can get that customized too. Vehicle is push to start, of course, and then here is uh, centralized analog buttons for your entertainment center. Um, pretty much every button that you would want, map, nav, radio, media, seeking through your tracks, favorites, setups, volume, and tuning. Down below is your uh, tri-climate automatic temperature control system. Right now we have it on auto set to the uh, driver here. Nice cool 67 for this day that's heating up. No more rain, thank goodness. And then you can also turn on or off the rear. Pressing the rear button right there actually brings up your rear climate control for you for some easier access. And then down here is your drive center. You've got your shift by wire system, park, reverse, neutral, and drive. Putting the vehicle in reverse brings up the camera system and reduces your speaker volume as well. You can see we've got a nice full 360 degree view along with the projected pathing right here for the surround view and the rear view camera. And you've got multiple views that you can choose from. Nice rear overhead view with the center line as the vehicle is equipped with a tow package too. Uh, nice wraparound view, that's standard. Uh, that's going to be your rear tires that you're taking a look at right there. And if we were to put the vehicle in drive real quick, we've got our camera view button on. So now we can see a full frontal view. The projected pathing lines have changed for driving forward on the vehicle. Then we've got a front overhead view so you can see things a little bit closer here as well as your uh, front quarter view with both of your tires and clear vision as well. So pretty cool system, right? All right, and now um, what I've done next is I've put our auto hold feature on here. Um, as you can see, we are currently in drive. Auto hold pops up in the bottom right of your screen there. It's currently green, so what that means is the system is engaged. I've got the Palisade in drive, foot is off the brake, and now it's not. Vehicles holding itself in place with the auto hold feature. Probably one of my favorite things for traffic and drive throughs, most definitely. We'll go ahead and put the vehicle back in park. That disengages the auto hold system. You can see that is now white. Uh, uh, moving on to your drive mode selection, you can see over here, uh, right next to your auto hold feature, you've got smart listed right there. Okay, we're going to uh, we're going to turn off our snowy village now. Thanks though. Um, okay, so you can see right here we've got some different drive selections. You have smart, eco, gives you some nice animations as well. Changes your gauges too. Pretty neat, right? <laughs> I love this so much. Uh, switch it over to comfort mode as well. Uh, that's going to be your standard, most comfortable mode. And then you also have sport mode, making things nice and aggressive on here too. So uh, you can switch between these. Smart mode will actually custom tailor the driving to how you drive the vehicle. That's uh, pretty nice. So um, over here, you've also got your parking sensors, the camera view button. Auto off is also equipped on this vehicle, which is going to turn the vehicle off completely when you come to full stops to reduce fuel and pollution. Um, you've got heated and cooled seating up front here with your heated steering wheel right here. And then here is the center console area. God, this, everything is so nice and textured. Everything just feels good to the touch in this vehicle. High quality. You've got a wireless charging pad in here as well as a USB port. Cup holders fold out. Very great design right here. Some awesome engineering. Gives you all the space that you need and you can customize what you need as well for holding a cup too. Center console. You've got an upper tray as well as a deep well that includes another USB uh, and a 12 volt outlet for you. And your glove box to the right is nice and spacious. Uh, we've got a front bracket inside for the appropriate uh, states that require a front bracket for the vehicle. And last but not least, guys, uh, we've got the... Uh, then moving on to the visors here. These are soft LED lit with a clip holder mirrored. And they are also telescopic for you, too. 
Um, passenger seat is also powered. It's going to be eight-way adjustable for you. Let's go ahead and check out the back seats and the hatch of the vehicle real quick. Hey, if I could film this all in one swoop, we'd be done already. We're having some technical issues today. So back here in the back seats, we've got cup holders and bottle holders, as well as your rear sunshades back here as well. Bottle holders down below for you. Then back here, we've got some hardback seating with our uh, dual cargo nets. You've also got USB ports back here easily accessible and conveniently placed for your rear passengers with the cap excuse me with the captain's chairs rear climate control is also available on the vehicle for you uh, these captain's chairs are heated and cooled and you've got a 12 volt outlet and a power inverter that you can plug anything into back here and that rotates for you as well so uh, captain's chairs back here are going to be on a rail system Okay, sorry for the interruption there. This is uh, this has been one hellacious video to try and record um, technical difficulties and everybody uh, needing some attention right now. Anyways, Palisade, captain's chairs, one touch, easy fold seating. Rear seats also recline and fold down flat completely. We'll show you a couple different ways to do that. Take note up above, you do have some ventilation as well as lighting and handles and the natural lighting from this nice panoramic roof. Uh, equipped on the Palisade is also going to be your ultrasonic rear occupant alert. As soon as you leave the vehicle, um, these sensors are going to be looking for movement, uh, just in case there's an animal or a child that's been forgotten for whatever reason. God forbid they get left behind for too long and get too hot or cold inside of a vehicle. So um, real quick here, we can go ahead and check out our third row. This is actually power folding here. So we're going to uh, have to get that adjusted real quick. But uh, as you can see right here, I've actually got a button. Palisade has power folding third row. You can also access this from the rear. We're gonna just fold up this side for a good example. Rear headrest folds up. And you also have the center seat belt back here. Rear passengers have uh, plenty of cup holders as well as uh, their own USB ports to the left and right as well. So everybody's got charging inside of the vehicle. Um, we've also got some insulation points for our tunnel cover that is also included in this vehicle but is currently stowed. All right. And also take a look at these all weather mats that come with the Palisade. It's a nice overlapping here. Very comprehensive for sure. All right. Fuel door is on the left. Just press and pop. And we've already checked out our smart lift gate here. So let's go ahead and get this opened up. Got some accessories back here for you. These nice little, uh, little cargo stops here. You can actually just dig right into the felt and they don't move. So you can keep things from rolling around. You can see we've got a cloth floor mat set back here for you guys. We'll go ahead and move this right here for now. And then you also get this nice overlapping cargo mat for the rear that installs onto the back of the seats here too. So nice and comprehensive. You've got a 12 volt outlet back here and then all of your seating configuration is going to be right here for you. So let's do second row real quick. We'll press both buttons. Boom, folded. So those drop down for you nice and easy. You can go up there and get it fully customized a little bit more. And then power third row, we'll fold down the left again. Headrest drops down automatically for you too. So what you can use this for in the second row is actually getting your uh, seat angle adjusted to get comfortable too. Subwoofer for the Harman Kardon audio system is back here. And then we'll go ahead and put this into place, lift this up. That. This thing is awesome. Lifting this up back here, you can see you've got a ton of extra storage, roadside tools. You also have a cargo net and your tonneau cover um, stowed back here as well. So nice under tray uh, for the vehicle too. All right, guys. This one was a tough one. Very long. Not sure what's going on with my phone or my gimbal or everybody here at the dealership right now. But we powered through it. We got it done. Happy to provide you the information, and thank you so much for your patience on this one. If you guys want any more information on this particular Hyundai Palisade, head on over to McCarthyHyundai.com. Look up stock number H01707.
Now make sure you like and share this video with your friends and family as well. Leave a comment if you have any compliments or questions about the 2021 Palisade Limited. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can stay up to date with all of the vehicles we're uploading to this channel for your informational needs. Thank you so much, guys. This is Matt Croissant at McCarthy Hyundai Blue Springs. Hope you're having a wonderful day.